Hey there, and welcome to another uh, devotion, reflection on depression. We've been talking about depression for uh, the month of May, and today I want to talk a little bit about what is chronic depression. You know, uh, in an earlier episode, I talked about the difference between sadness and depression. And sadness is something that occurs to us, or feelings that we have in connection to a disappointing situation. Whereas depression is uh, a feeling that uh, is a little bit deeper than sadness. And chronic depression can be depression that lasts longer than two weeks. It doesn't mean that if you've been sad or depressed, uh, you have chronic depression. But I wanted to share some symptoms about of what it looks like uh, in case uh, you might want to get checked out. Uh, all of these things affect us at various times in our lives, uh, but when they affect us all at the same time, there may be a need to go get checked out by your doctor. Uh, sleeping too, too little or sleeping too late in the mornings, uh, doing late night activities, loss of energy, uh, not wanting to do things that used to bring you joy and excitement, you stop doing them. You have a change in appetite, either a significant weight loss or weight gain. I know in my situation, when I'm stressed, I lose weight. Whereas other people, when they're stressed, they gain weight. And so sometimes losing weight or gaining weight may not have to do with depression. It may have to do with something else. Uh, maybe you've had a loss of energy and you are withdrawing from your friends, from society in general. Also, other, other things could be uh, being overly negative towards yourself or feeling like life is not worth living. And that's a biggie. Uh, I think we all go through those moments in our, top, in our lives when we wonder, um, or younger anyway, again, I'll speak for myself, uh, there are times in which I really thought life wasn't worth living. A period of time in which I was going through a lot of pain when I was uh, a young adult and really had thoughts of suicide. And so when those thoughts come up a lot more than usual, you might want to get that checked out. Maybe even giving away things uh, some of your favorite things to people because you feel like you don't deserve to have them around you anymore. Poor work performance if you have a job. Maybe excessive absences, again, if you have a job. So all of these things can be uh, a symptom of being chronically depressed. And if that's the case, go to your doctor and get it checked out. In any case, whether you're sad or whether you are depressed, the good news is that God is always there. We are not alone in our depression or our sadness. We may feel like it, but God is always there with us. And so there's always hope. There's always hope that things can turn around. You may be uncertain about what life is happening around you right now or uncertain about the situation that you're in. But there is always hope because God is always there. I want to read to you a passage from Lamentations chapter 20 verse no chapter 3 verses 20 through 29 see if you can relate to this and the writer says my soul continually thinks of it and is bowed down within me but this i call to mind and therefore i have hope the steadfast, steadfast love of the lord never ceases god's mercy never ends never comes to an end they are new every morning great is your faithfulness the Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in God. The Lord is good to those who wait for God, to the soul that seeks God. It is good that one should wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. It is good for one to bear the yoke in youth, to sit alone in silence when the Lord has imposed it, to put one's mouth to the dust. There may yet be hope. The writer understood what it meant to be sad and down. And yet, the writer still had hope in God. So I challenge you as you uh, deal with and wonder about this thing called depression, especially in the world we live in right now. This is so relevant to our lives. So many of us feel so sad at times. Just remember that you're not alone in your depression. That God is there. And life is worth living. You matter to somebody. I know you might not believe that because of maybe how you feel right now. But trust me. There is somebody out there right now that is depending on your presence in this world. Go in peace this day.